Hi, friends. Hello, friends. So happy to see you. Welcome to Spicy Cat Jams. You are with kicking it with Kim, Kim. <laughs> and Kathy. Ugh. We need to do this more often. Yeah, we do. We apologize. We've been I'm um, MIA for a while. But we're here now, right? We're here now. That's the most important thing. We and are. we have an awesome taste test, and it's a hodgepodge of fun stuff. Hodgepodge is always the best. Mm -hmm. And the reason she thinks it's awesome, there's nothing spicy. Exactly. It's all sweet. Yes. It is. Oh, it is. I, look, I lied. There is that Ooh. word. But, but it'll be fine. It's the good kind of. So, I don't know. What do we want to do? <laughs> all right. We're going to just dive right in. Okay. You ready, folks? What's she picking first? Have you guys seen these? I have seen them, but I have not tried them, even though I uh, wanted to. June. <sighs> June, they expire, right? June? Yeah. I think so. They both expired. Yeah. Fruity cereal. Fruity cereal. Yeah. I That's have two because I thought they were going to be good and that we, you know, might need to eat more. Oh, look at two of them mm. right for us. Ooh, and food. Oh, they got Ooh, they smell delicious. on them. Don't mm. worry. Because white chocolate again. Oh, but it smells just like fruity cereal. We're not going to say the name. Yeah. Okay. Got to break a piece. A little bit of oh. strawberry, it smells like. Yeah, they're just normal inside. Okay. Let's, let's get our fruit it. on. Break me off a piece of that. Oh my gosh. Okay, now why, Kit Kat, mm. can you make white chocolate taste good on this one? Right. But not on all your Kit Kats. Mmm. Yeah, this is a good one. Mm-hmm. In the wafers, it's like little flecks of fruity. Mm -hmm. Like what's on the outside. Mm. It's good. It tastes just like cereal. Mm hmm I like it. I wonder if you eat that for breakfast then. It counts. It yep. says cereal on the label. <laughs> Right? Right! That was good. Hmm. Fruity cereal flavored cream. I don't know. I like Liked it. it. I would eat those again. You pick now. Oh, goodness. What should we do? Kathy never picks. Well, because I know I got to try them all, so it doesn't really matter what right. order. Let's go for these. Because I love the Pillsbury Doughboy. No Yay! So these, again, were old. I mean, well, they're not expired. Were they out at Christmas time? I think so, yeah. Limited edition. Yeah. So we got sugar cookies with sprinkles. Yay! And icing. And it's awesome. And the resealable bag that I, oh, there we go. Is the other one gone yet? If that's out there, the big time. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see that we can just replenish. They look amazing. Look at that. I'm kind of wait to see the. Oh, they're all blue sprinkles. Okay. At least on this one. Yeah. Oh, I guess on the picture they're all blue all too. All blue. I blue. So I these should just be soft sugar cookies, right? Yep. Made with real butter. Real butter. Real butter. <laughs> You're not gonna notice. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Ooh, it's soft. It's like little crunches of sprinkles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do they have just the sugar cookies, just like the soft sugar cookies all by themselves? I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. Okay, I try not to like go down the cookie aisle because if I buy them, I'm going to eat them mm -hmm. and like own all of them. Mm -hmm. So I don't know that I've seen ready to eat. I mean, for me, Pillsbury cookie, it's usually oh, the dough in the refrigerator. You're section, right, yeah. Which is how I eat it. I don't cook it. But... <laughs> So I just, again, these could be out for a while. I don't know if I there's, know. I don't know. Again, people that actually go in the cookie aisle, you know. Hmm. Hmm. It's good. It's good. I'm going to finish eating it. I've had better sugar cookies. Mm -hmm. And I, are you guys a soft or a hard or crunchy cookie person? I think it depends on the cookie. Depends on the cookie. Yeah. Sugar cookies are one of like my favorite cookies. But yeah, these I've had much better sugar cookies, that's for sure. Finster. 
I need some balls. Oh, they're not balls. They're balls. Oh, they're not balls. So Eddie picked this up for us at the little family candy store back in North Dakota. And I think he opened them and tried them. I don't get it. Chocolate, banana, pecan, bread. But they're balls. Well, it's the flavor. Oh, gotcha. So I did not try them. Eddie tried them. I'm assuming it's like a it looks chocolate like a pecan. covered pecan. Oh, okay. But it's probably got some banana bread <laughs> flavor. It's, you know, it's not a ball. It's like that. So. I just smell chocolate. Yeah. Mmm. I made you try all that stuff. Yeah. Covered olives and jalapenos yep. and pickles. It's yep. from that same store. Chocolate banana pecan bread. Okay. Banana on. right away. Banana and top looks good. Mmm. Why is yours like that? Like what? Like I did it? What kind of pecan is that? A smaller one. Mm. It's good. <laughs> I'm not a big pecan fan. I really like it. But this is tolerable because yeah. it's covered in chocolate. Mmm. Not bad. Good mm -hmm. job, Eddie. Mm. I'm headed that direction. I might pick them. See what I can find for us. Mm-mm. Mm -hmm. I like that banana, banana flavor in there. It's really interesting to have the it banana. It all kind of goes together. Very good. Do you put pecans when you make banana bread? Okay, first of all, do you ever make banana bread? <laughs> I do, but people put, I think, walnuts in there. Mm. But I think I would do pecans. I like pecans better than walnuts. I like chocolate chips in my banana bread. Oh. <laughs> Skip the nuts. Give me the chocolate. Mm. Oh. Okay. <gasps> Pumpkin spice. Are one spicy? Are one spicy? Are one spice. Darn, they expired in, Aww. excuse me, March 31st. Where do you need to pick these up, Walgreens? I think I got the Dollar Tree. Oh. Well, Dollar, whatever they are now. Sure. I haven't even been there, so I don't know if our Dollar Trees are more than a dollar. They smell like caramel, which I like. Soft Pumpkin caramels. Pumpkin spice. Yeah, these were their soft caramels are pretty mm -hmm. awesome. I don't smell anything but caramel. caramel. Caramel, caramel, we've had this debate before too. Oh, sorry. Caramel. No, I might, it's stick, whatever. Mm hmm. You getting pumpkin spice? Very faint. <laughs> it says with a touch. I'd say it's like a super light touch, like someone that doesn't really like you. Good, but it just tastes like caramel to me. Very faint. But if you don't like a lot of pumpkin spice, it's... Mm -hmm. If you want to hang with the cool kids and pumpkin spice season, pull these out of your lunch <laughs> bag. <laughs> Go right ahead. It's just not fresh. <laughs> just a touch. Just a touch. <laughs> Oh boy, I think we're going on sugar overload. I think I'm having another hot flash. Here we go. One thing left. Right? Yes. Fruity <laughs> Pebbles! <clears throat> White chocolate. I don't know who this is. Is it even from a real chocolate? A Frankfurt real Post. Oh, I should be impressed by that. It's my company. Hmm. Post? Yeah, they own us. They own us. <laughs> They own us. Ooh. My hair even started melting while I'm in here. So look at that. I just opened it a little bit. You can see the <laughs> cereal in there. Look at that. Yum me. Well, yeah, if it's actually called Fruity Pebbles, yes. it's got to be because the Kit Kat was just Fruity Cereal. Although oh, right. they look like the loopy kind. <laughs> so I took a little chunk. Oh, good. Big chunk. Sorry. That's okay. I don't think there's anything on the other side. Nope. Come here. I'm fighting with the wrapper. The struggle is real, my friends. It smells like fruity pebbles. 
cereal that I never got to eat. Cheers! Tastes like Ruby Pebbles? Mm hmm. Not a bad white chocolate. Right. Mm hmm. So this had more like strawberry or something around the outside. Right, this is just the cereal inside the white chocolate. Mm -hmm. it's like, but the cereal still has a little bit of a crunch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. What was that joke Arlen told us? <laughs> Remember the two countries? When we start to reference Arlen jokes on our channel, we're done. We're done. Yeah, but it was a Flintstone. I don't remember. Nope, he didn't tell me it. Nope. He did too. He did? I think so. Should we call him and ask him? Should we get him right on here? I can't remember what it was, obviously. I don't know. It was something about what's the difference between Abu Dhabi and Denai? Or De what's another town over there? Dubai? Dubai. What? Dubai doesn't like the Flintstones, but. <laughs> Abu Dhabi do? Abu Dhabi do? <laughs> Abu Dhabi do! You didn't hear that one? Wow! No! <laughs> no! Much better if I knew how to tell a joke. It was, I, I think it was good how you did it. No, I think it was perfect how you did it. As I was gonna say. <laughs> Handheld ones and I, I didn't do, bring yeah, them. I have mine. Man, it's hot back here. We got two more to go. How many more? Two. Oh, thank God. <sighs> We're on the downhill slide. Oh, jeepers. I think it's the room. I, yeah, it's definitely the room. It's not us. We're not that hot. Something I ate, I think, was stale. I got a stale taste in my mouth. That was like five filmings ago. <laughs> I know. I'm like, I don't know. It was my pecan or. Thank you for joining us, friends. I hope you enjoyed this. Please share a joke in the please. comments that we could pass on to our friend Orlin. Yes, please. PG, please. PG. He's how old? The is lamer he? the better, I guess. 70-ish? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's our 70-ish right yeah. year old friend that will tell you a joke if you ever meet him. And, you and it'll be the same joke every <laughs> effing time. He has some good ones. He does. The Abu Dhabi one was a new one. <laughs> he's, he's getting new material. <laughs> Someone else well, you know, told him. It was COVID for how long, so he couldn't go out because he would go to, you know, the farmers. They go to whatever, the, the local water. Have coffee. Yep, and, and learn all these jokes, and he didn't go for how long. So now he's got new material. He's got new material because then he tells a joke, and sometimes the waiter tells him a joke then because... That's your tip when you wait on Orlin. Excuse me. You get a joke. Okay, friends, we're going to let you go. Oh, okay, yes, we are. Because we want to finish filming and get out of this hot, hot room. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, sorry. I kind of had a burp stuck. And in case to nobody has told you, you matter. You matter. You are beautiful. Even if you're a little bit fruity. Oh. Then you're just like us. That's right. Later, friends. Bye. <laughs> Bye.